Hello, welcome to Maths with J. So here we've been given two numbers in standard form, which we're going to multiply together. So let's get the calculator. And we're going to key in 9.1. And then I'm not going to key in times anything. Because if you look at this key, we've already got the times 10 to the power of on the key. So now we just key in the four. And notice I'm not using brackets. It's not necessary to use the brackets here. And now I am going to key in times. And then 3.8. And then as before, no multiplication symbol here, but times 10 to the power of 3. So no brackets used, and I've only used the ordinary multiplication symbol once. And then let's do equals. And there's, well, it's not quite the answer, is it? It's an answer but not the answer we've been asked for because the question says give your answer in standard form. You might also know this as scientific notation so what we could do is get the calculator to do this work for us. So we're going to put this into a different mode so shift mode and we're looking for scientific notation, so that's seven. And the number of numbers before all the zero started was four. And there's the answer. So the calculator tells us that the answer is 3.458 times 10 to the power of eight. So the important thing is that when we give our answer, there is only one digit before the decimal point. So what you might have done, let's just do a, a check to see what you might have ended up doing. So when we check our answer, we get, well, 9.1 is roughly 9, um, 3.8 roughly 4. And then you might have thought, well, we've got 10 to the power of 4. 10 to the power of 3, so we add those powers together. So that gives us 9 fours, 36, and then 10 to the power of 7. So having done that sort of thing, you might have thought that the answer was 34.58 times 10 to the 7. Now that would be a way of writing the answer, but it wouldn't be in standard form. So it's really important to realise that, for example, here, if I wanted this check, in standard form or scientific notation, I'd have to divide that number by 10 and multiply the other one by 10 to get that. And so there we can see that our answer looks as if it's the right sort of thing.